it's that time of the show where we have a little chat with the artist who's here now. So um, we are definitely going to give him some time. So uh, yeah, man, let's let's get into it. So, Fundo Art. Yes, sir. Can you tell me where does that name come from? Ah, uh, Fundo is um, my real name. Okay. Fundo, yeah, Fundo is my real name. Just slapped PH on it instead of MF. Okay. It's like, you know, like Fat Farm, Pharrell, et cetera, stuff like that. It just looks better as well, Britain. Okay. And okay. Then, um, the art is just like what I display and stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So when you say that's your name, I can just straight away know it's obviously not an English name. So you can mm-hmm. tell the viewers who probably don't know you that well. Where were you born? Where are you from? Yeah, I was born out in Jersey, South Africa, Soweto, okay. London West. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, same block as like Desmond Dutu and Nelson Mandela's first house. So, wow. it's like as he's turned into a tourist attraction now. I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, it's which is proper sick, bro. Yeah. So, like, um, we've had loads of artists come there, like 50s, just posted up sat there, etc. Like, every time I go back home, I touch base there and see yeah. my friends from that same area. They still remember you and stuff. Yeah, That's good. always. And do you like snipe, <laughs> Skype and all that kind of stuff still? Um, not so much yeah, because. Yeah. With some people in them areas as well, it's kind of hard. They still go on airtime to like pay as you go. Yes. Not everyone's on contract, yes, so it's kind I of hard imagine. to like, yeah. you know what I mean? I used to go back every year yeah. growing up here, but then I haven't been since 2016 now. So mm-hmm. when I touch base, like even with my family members go, they'll be like, oh, who put on Fondo or my mom Fondo? Like yeah. that just means like my brother Fondo or yeah. mama Fondo, yeah. so Fondo's dad. Okay. So I used to play football like all on the streets like we used to play this thing called one ball so it's like we'll put a brick and it's the one post yeah and i'll play in my block then if our team's the best we'd go challenge guys from over the hill or whatever wow. and i wasn't really allowed to maneuver like that because yeah. of my pops but yeah, yeah we'd yeah. do it for the love of football yeah yeah and yeah. Like, if people square off it just ends up being fist fight yeah and nothing ever else yeah which i always respect from good. south africa See, yeah because you good, have to be hard you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like in a sense to experience that stuff good and it's it, i rated that because after all me and my one of my best friends who passed away because yeah. i've had so many friends pass away since i grew up there okay we had a fight on my front lawn and we all used to play fight anyway yeah, play yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. then we had a serious fight and then after the fight my dad made us sit down and like eat cake together and wow. just chilled and it was just like every, it's always been like that over there it's which is like, sick why <clears throat> can't the kids down here be thinking that just yeah. fist fight it out man mm. well, straight in it they would call it in it and yeah, it's just yeah. like but these knives <laughs> and that it just ends life so quick yeah, over stupid horrible, little man. things and mm. I bet your little fight that you had it was so silly so trivial bro and it was just silly like, and we laugh afterwards exactly. just crack, 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 like I was still Still miss my home from like these days, but like yeah. I've like, even I've lost some friends here to knife crime, and it's just like okay. how it results of that is from yeah. a push or a shove, or yeah. people not even being involved in the wrong situation at the yeah. wrong time. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's like it constantly happens, but like okay. I think, yeah. So so when did you leave South Africa? Two thousand and two, three, two thousand two, three. Okay. But like I like I came and I lived in Reading. Yeah. And I didn't like that. Yeah. Then I moved back. Cause um, but my mom was here with my sister. Okay, in and, Wolver- um, oh, in the Midlands. Uh, they were living in Reading at that time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I I moved back to SA with my bro, and then they moved from Reading to like West Mids. Okay. And then um, I was just always missing my mom and stuff, and yeah. my dad was like, who my dad was. Yeah. And then uh, my relationship with my dad now is dope though, as I've yeah, grown up. That's good. And then later on, I moved uh back over here to like live with my mom okay and then yeah from then i was just here okay and going back every summer and uh christmas okay mm. so <clears throat> in terms of the political situation was it did you see some crazy stuff or because i know like in south africa in certain times there was like apartheid and obviously those kind of things did you see that or oh uh, luckily like obviously when mandela became in presidency etc that was like after my time so i didn't really get to see the whole divide of apartheid but mm-hmm. like my, my siblings everyone my family members most of them will tell me about it and speak of it mm-hmm. but like there's still the racial like uh divide, divide. Yeah. you can still tell in certain areas you go to like i had a chick that i brought back from the uk yeah when i went two down 16 because yeah. i went on my own i went with her as well yeah 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 and we went to like come all right like areas to go eat yeah and like when we go to out like townships or if we go to like normal like traditional areas yeah like people and everyone just embrace it they're just like oh yeah. this looks cool etc but then i'll see like afrikaners which are like the dutch descendants not all of them okay but then they would have this automatic of they'll know because i'm not an sa and they can hear by my speech and yeah. I'm carrying myself you've got that and confidence like, that swagger yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. they'll be like this kid ain't from around here and he's got a white chick with him yeah. and he says it's kind of like I'm not saying I only date white chicks so I yeah. date all sorts of beautiful women yeah. but like <laughs> but at that time I was with her and then like they seen that and then they'll just like yo standoffish and like so much that they'll bite in their tongue that they almost wanted to fight me which was wow. crazy just from us uh, sitting there but yeah. it was, it was beautiful. so it's it's mad with that but it's a beautiful country man but yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. everywhere you find everything but exactly it's it's mm-hmm. not only there it's it's all over the world and, yeah and for some reason I have to say I don't ever see it going 
I mm. don't ever see it going. People sure. are saying we have to try and change a little bit. I just think people are, are, are people mm. and they're always going to have certain certain things against certain types of people. And, and, and if, if that's in them, then it's it's in them. And it might that's not just mean. be black and white. It might yeah. be gypsies versus the travel. It, it's mm. all types, all types of no, things. That's true, so that's it's true. just, but I think it, it will it will always be here. So it's one of those. Anyway, mm. when you came over to the UK, is that when you started your music or were you already doing it in SA? Nah, you know, I was never doing music, which I wish I did from younger. Like, yeah. um, I was I was always like football, basketball, like, uh, like I said, I always play fighting with homies, just yeah. like kid stuff. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like, uh, I never jumped onto the music. I used to dance, which is jokes. Okay. I was dancing, yeah, yeah. Ranting, <laughs> ranting. I didn't I know to, that. <laughs> I used to dance, which is a joke. Uh, shout out to Rain. Yeah. Like, uh, like, always like street dancing and all that stuff. I still got a homie who still does dance in, like, the, uh, in Birmingham. So I'll go there and he's still there breaking it with his boys. I'm like, yo, sick, bro. Yeah. Right now yeah. I got two left feet, so it's peak. Okay, and okay. And I started on the music probably, let's say, after. I used to do little verses or whatever here and there for my homies, like 2015, 16. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then 17, that's when I started being like, yo, I'm going to make an EP. I'm going to make a full song on my own. I'm okay, gonna, you know what I'm saying? okay. And I started, yeah, and that's when sick stuff started happening. I've partnered up. So I got, like, obviously, Sam Shack, they were involved with it. Then we started, like, doing Red in Leeds or all these shows a lot down London. Yeah. Never in the UK. Then we did a little three stacks tour and things started picking up a little bit. Okay. And 18 had a knock back. Okay. Uh, we're back now, baby. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so on the run up then, so what was your influence? What was your kind of music that you would say, I'm going to, I like that sound. I grew up on this sound. So this, I'm going to tailor it to this because I, because I have an idea. Kellen Remar, I, I hear a lot of that influence in mm. the way that you spit, but I don't know if that's you would agree with that or what. I hear that. No, definitely. I think like I always miss someone out when I do this, but like uh, I think a lot of music, man, because my, my parents, my pops, like showed me a lot of music in the household, and okay. I had like a lot of female cousins, so they showed me a lot of music as well. So yeah. whether it's TKZ, whether it's Destiny's Child, whether it's Michael Jackson, okay. whether it's <clears throat> all these names that were like Marvin Gaye, all in the house. Yeah. But then when I went and like I'm gonna do my own journey. Yes. So I thinking of like maybe the Genesis. I was going back like Busta Rhymes album. I love Busta Rhymes. Yeah. I was bro, I was listening to Flavor in Your Ear today. See yeah. It. Driving here, and I was like, you know, Biggie's dope. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 And then like like LL's got his yeah, LL Cool yeah, J. Yeah. 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 And then. But Buster's presence Buster. on that track, <gasps> bro, it was just he changed, was, the game, he changed. He changed the game. I was like, bro, people sleep on Buster, bro. Yes, they do. He they was dope, bro. Do. But and like, he's still doing it, you know. He's he is, but his, but Fifty did say something. Fifty said because Buster didn't keep his whole like physique and his yeah. aesthetics. He's yes. such a video yeah. artist, like yeah. you want to see his aesthetics, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he kind of lost that, maybe drew apart from it. But who yeah. knows? Sometimes it's lyrical ability, which is mm, still dope. But it. Andre Two Thousand is a big influence. Andre Two Thousand, I can see that. Kid Cudi, like those. Yeah. People. I just like Andre's rapping ability, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Storytelling. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Bar yeah, none. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. So, all right, then. So I'm definitely getting a feel. <laughs> and then it's like, boom. So you're saying up to 2017, you were, you were doing the shows and you were, you were getting out there. Momentum. Yeah, Momentum. yeah. And yeah. I would say we're in 2019. About three years ago, I would say I first heard about you. Oh, um, cool. And it would probably be when... Um, you started riding with Vital. Shout out to Vital. Big Vital, Vital. a lot of things as well. Um, I'm not sure if it was, if all that we know came out before City of Gods or was it City of Gods first? Because obviously I follow a lot of what <clears throat> read the title films and what Vital puts out. Mm -hmm. And City of Gods was a cypher that you did with a few other rappers. But on oh, that one. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we recorded all that we know a while ago. Yeah. So when he dropped it, it was like seasoned. It was like a year old or something. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Yo, bro, when he pushing that track out, yeah. push that track out. Yeah, and yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> but like it was a year ago. So let's say 16, we made that. He dropped it 17. Yeah. That freestyle was when we used to mess with my boy, Top Block. Okay. Um, in Warsaw, he had a okay. studio, and then like me, City of God is actually the guy rapping on it, okay. and then Mellow, and then the freestyle was just okay. one that Tyler wanted to film. In that City of God's <laughs> thing, that's when I thought this guy's got bars. Yo, thank you, bro. Because you yeah. were you were starting off slow, and you were saying yeah. about something in the morning, and, yeah. and then you gave it there, you gave it that in there. I was like, whoa, yeah. whoa, hold on a minute. But I didn't know if you were from Eng from America or not. I was thinking, yeah. easier, who is this guy? You get me? But yeah. he just looks, he just looks something like a star. And oh, I was I thinking, that, all right so, then. So so how, how did that come about after that one? Um, cause obviously me and Title like just get along like brothers, yeah. bro. It's crazy. Like yeah. we just we just the, the same banter like mannerisms. Yeah, and obviously t uh, Vital is like, and we look at him like an OG of some sense because yeah, he'll yeah. be like more like straightforward of it. But yeah. like 
I plugged up with him and then Title. Then me and Title would just randomly like, drive around and like film something before yeah. I got banned or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's film something, let's film something. Yeah. And they were always filming, building that. But then I wasn't really consistent here. That's why I hooked up with V and um, yeah. and those are my guys because they like the basic stuff of like tie your lace, yeah. uh, make sure your hat's straight kind of yeah, thing. But yeah. they help with me building this like consistency and stuff because okay. yeah, I, I fell off a bit with it. Yeah. But like, and now, then all <clears> that we know came out the following year and then yeah that's when i started spinning you on my show oh, my show's been that. going for about four or five years now and then that's when i started playing you there and then i was just like no way and then oh, i started you playing it then yeah oh, right. yeah, like, yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and then sense, it, then yeah. it was like hold on a minute i want to play more fundo but it was just not clean brother yeah. <laughs> I keep telling artists, yeah, if yeah. you want to do bits, you get me, yeah. send me clean stuff and we'll spin it. We don't have all the time in the world. You've obviously seen how busy I am, you get yeah, me? So, no, so if you want to get your radio spins, you've got to give us clean edits, you get me? Yeah, and, and we will definitely play it because you've got tune. And that 808, yeah, yeah, yeah that, was was late. <laughs> that tune's a banger, bro. And yeah, I saw you, you perform that at Vital's headline show. And mm. I was just like, nah, this guy's sick, you get me? And then mm. I, did you have the, the, the bleach of the hair? Or yeah, I was hair? bleaching it up. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was saying. And it's I like, an artist has to stand out and yeah. that's what you were doing, you get me? So I just was thinking, nah, this man's set to blow, you get me? Um, yeah, but then you said in 2008, you, you lost a bit of momentum. Yeah, what, was like, that? what was that? A lot of like personal things went on like that time. Okay. Um, like from 2017, because all the music I released like now, like. 6993, uh, Tropicana, all that. I made it in 2017. I had that apartment in London. Yeah. So I got involved with this label. Okay. I got a lot of advance, whatever. Like okay. an indie label. So you got signed. Then, okay. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to sign a couple of EPs. And then yeah. instead, I was like, yo, let me give them 808s because that's a song that yeah. like I've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll remix it, add a verse, yeah. and then like extend it, et cetera. Yeah. So they've still kind of got just that one song though. Yeah. So then I cooked all that music in 17 planning to release it they were holding me back i wasn't releasing no music okay. and they're saying promising all these stuff but it didn't happen but i'm glad i went through that because i learned a lot this is it yeah a lot and of then, promises can get made and mm. again like we were talking about off air yeah. when certain things don't happen it just yeah knocks, it hits, yeah, hits yeah. you brother yeah, and it just push, and that's not in just music that's mm. in anything it could be in football it yeah. could be in business and and it just knocks your confidence relationships it, yeah, yeah. yeah and it makes yeah. you think oh, i am I really meant to do this yeah. But it's it's the per, it's the persistence. Yeah, that's bro, the thing, it man. It's, like, it's hard work. It builds talent. the character. You get mm. me. So yeah. yeah. So that happened in 2018. Okay. And Some family um, stuff. Last like my my strong uncles, like the people I rely on, like my arms, and I go over there. Like just yeah. things start having knock effects and like yeah. friends and stuff. Mm. So then it just I was just like, yo, do I want to do music? Uh -huh. And I started just like focusing on making money or doing other stuff. Yeah. And then I, I plugged up with the right people now. So yeah. And it's just like as well. Once the music bug is in you, mm. I don't think whatever you you try to do outside nah. would ever be enough. Ain't cutting it, yeah, yeah it's not cutting and it, it's, bro. And it's it is. Sometimes you can <clears throat> see it as a blessing. Some see it as a curse. You get me? Because mm -hmm. it's just you always wanna Oof. wanna do this thing. You get me? And it, yeah. and it ain't easy. It ain't easy. So when you say you plug it with the right people, who we talking about? Talking about uh, shout out to V, shout and, out to uh, V, even my videographers, so like Rufus, Tobias, yeah, yeah. Title, we still have back and forth conversation, yeah, like and then uh, Anthony, like there's, there's people, like it's just people who even feel like Nico Bellic, sorry, there's people who are part of me on my everyday life that I speak to on the phone, yeah, that might not think they're part of everything but they are yeah it's a, it's a mental thing as well yes of so i've course. tried to plug up with many artists and build this together and build this unity but yeah. as me and my videographers say i've brought a lot of people to the table before and there was nothing at the table yeah so i was always good at bringing people together but now it's either i'm going to build my legacy or build myself and have a lot of things to stand on yeah and perhaps be, I don't know, everyone else is building as well yeah so i always thought i could work in a team but yeah. sometimes if or not yeah. so i need to work in my team which is behind the scenes yeah and i'm the star in yeah. a sense yeah yeah, yeah without yeah. saying they're too jaded yeah 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 and because I've stood a alongside like some dope people now as I'm seeing it growing up, and like mm -hmm. they carried on with it. Like I've like obviously your scars, mm -hmm. you know, you know, Scarlet Mads. Yes, you know what I'm saying like other uh, Midlands Tavins, artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, you know, what I'm saying like a, a Mellow. He yeah. was very dope. Like yeah. he was rated on the under scene. Like I've stood next to these like guys who are like I've seen what they do, and even before I took it serious, whatever. And I'm just like flaws, whatever. All these people, and then I'm like, okay. Where are they flaws? Where are they, um, no pun intended, like where are they flaws? How are they good at what they do? And then I need to see where I'm going to build myself now. Yes. Because I know I've got a lot to offer. Yeah. I've got a very, you like do? a huge amount of like talent and like skill to offer, but yeah. that don't matter if you're not going to push it and stay consistent with it. Exactly. So I needed, I needed the right formula and how to move with it. And yeah. uh, 
a yeah. team a team is very important Definitely. a team is very important and i was telling you off air again mm. about the weeds or the trees which one are you you get me yeah facts. the weeds can get pulled up real easily facts. so if they have no foundation no mm. strong core team around them to mm. to help build that tree you get me Trust and me. um i can Trust see that me. that's yeah. where you're at yeah. right now yeah. you, Definitely, when the bro. indie lot when the indie <laughs> lot came to you and all that kind of stuff i think you probably might not have had this the infrastructure needed no, that definitely. you've got now mm. to build properly something that can that can stand the test yes. you get me yeah. and it's like yeah. definitely i can see that now and i can nice. see the hunger definitely now. bro like, Yo. so um <laughs> so now so now we're, we're, we're into a good spot now so now mm. you got this big tune now farzy yeah tell me about big farzy <laughs> tell me about farzy uh like so like i was my boy uh duct tape yeah from uh holland yeah. i went to check some of them uh, when i went over to holland he lives like let's say north side of holland and the others live like east or whatever yeah could be wrong with the geography yeah and i brought these guys together from social media because i built relationships with each of them yeah and relationships like, are key people relationships are, are key <laughs> they are and we cooked more music which is coming out soon but then farsi they sent me the beat and i literally chopped this song up in like 10 15. okay and i was like this hook sounds cool and then like the way i rap on it sounds like the song the video you spoke about city of god yeah i used that same flow because oh. people really found in love with that wasabi song it's so awesome. it's like roll with little shoddy yeah and she thick body yeah it's like you ain't playing around me. Yeah. Got the fan around me. It's that ah. same, you know what I mean? So Jeez. then I went with that and then I was like, yo, who can I get on this track? Yeah. And it was meant to go get chucked at some, the local geezers, my boy in Derby. Yeah. But I think it was ill at the time. Yeah. And then my boy was like, Sam was like, yo, go for someone else, man. Like, go bigger. Like, think bigger, etc. Yeah. Because, and then I hit up Eyes. I was like, yo, what are you saying about this track? Oh, he yeah. Goes, eyes. Shout out to Eyes, Big up to Eyes, definitely, yeah. 100. And he's like, yo, I messed with this. I sent me a verse back yeah. the next day, bro. Yeah. He wasted no time. I was uh, like, uh, my guy, that's the kind of guy I mess with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously we put it out like May, end yeah. of May, I think. Yeah. I put the audio out, we shot the visual, etc. We had a little piano jingle thing, that melody or whatever. Yeah. Medley that me and Eyes were doing. And then people were like paying attention to that. Yo, what's going on with this song? Yeah. And then we ended up releasing the audio. Uh, Nico Bellic on the artwork and then we dropped the visual like I think two weeks ago yeah 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 I was, so I've seen it I've seen it and then there's a festival now obviously so it's Farsi me and uh, uh, me and Eyes the yeah. visual I think is almost like on 5k on YouTube now and then yes, the song yeah. is always like 15k on Spotify, Spotify it's yeah. just grown quick for me and then I think Apple Music is doing okay as well yeah 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 and um and shout out title yeah. title sorry but yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah it's just it's sick to just see that man and like how people are eager for the new music and you uh, I have to say you have a very loyal fan base yeah man those yeah. guys have been rocking for a this bit bro is what i'm saying Dude, yeah we can see that we can mm. see that so it's just like the the scene that you're going you're going down your own scene you're going down your own lane you're carving your own crowd and it's just like it's good to watch it's very yeah. good to watch and no. i'm hearing there's some crazy luck who like mushing and also yeah. when you're performing and all this kind of stuff you get me, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah i'm big up to those guys yeah i do love that fan base but i think also like they grown with me because I used to all be about like all the martial and all these crazy shows we've done in London and Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. But like now I want to grow as an artist as well. And yeah. I want to be able to take them through a journey, you okay. know what I mean? Take them up, so, bring them down. Yeah, <laughs> and all that's right. what I've needed to work on as well as an artist because I'll, sometimes I'll perform to people and when they're quiet I think they're not enjoying it but they're listening yeah, yeah, especially yeah. with the indie shows like I'll see them listening okay. they might jump around but they're not proper mushing and I'm like yeah maybe I do appreciate that so I appreciate both okay. but like, I'm growing as an artist man big 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 alright then guys mm. we are nearly at the end of the interview um, as I said time always flies when you're having fun True. but um, I just like to say thank you for coming down if thank somebody you, wanted to um, find out more about you how would they be able to follow your journey uh just follow me on the socials i guess so like fundo art which is p-h-u-n-d-o yeah yeah, yeah. a-r-t yeah um the new song farsi which is out now on all streaming platforms uh, i'm gonna be on instagram and youtube yeah, yeah. that's right. mainly the best bets right. we'll google up as we funnily enough we google then a lot of stuff came up which yeah, is yeah, hilarious yeah. So i it's hope my mom's not googling nothing <laughs> <laughs> and we, we didn't touch on the fact that um the, the georgia smith thing so tell them a real quick thing about that so because yeah. you were talking about how you've seen a lot of artists bluff bust up but what's yeah, it like seeing few, georgia man, smith do few, that man few. yo bro it's beautiful because um she had a friend uh shout out to a friend yeah. that i was cool with yeah yeah and yeah. then um obviously her and georgia were like uh, homies and then we spent like time like passing as like we were all getting older etc yeah. um when we we're younger in like warsaw the chokery yeah. flats etc yeah. they'll come to the parties yeah. and uh georgia's always hungry to sing yeah. she's always like hungry to sing and then she started and i saw the shift in like her discipline when she started like going gym more often yeah and she's still working at starbucks and probably isolating herself a little bit more during yeah. the trips to like london back and studios forth studios and that yeah yeah yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. and then like <clears throat> 
all of a sudden, I think I seen her like a year or two years later in the underground in London. I think I was going to Oxford Street. Yeah. I was with my two homies, Ben yeah. and G Man. Yeah. I'm always gonna kill them for this. Yeah, it's just yeah, funny. Yeah. Like we seen her on the underground and like George was like, Hey, how you doing? And like, I was just like, Oh no, no, I seen her coming. I was like, Yo guys, relax, relax. And they're like, Why, why are you relax? Because I knew they were just gonna go like that. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. like, Hey, how you doing? I think this is just from blue lights and I'm like, Yo, George, yeah. what's up? How you doing? Gave yeah, her a hug. You and were calm. She's like, I'm just yeah, she's like, I'm on my way to like Nike to do an interview. And I was yeah, like, dope. Wow. I was like, George, that's beautiful to see. Yeah. And then like two seconds in, these guys are like, George, but your biggest fan. I was like, Oh, <laughs> I was like, you guys, man. I was they like, lost their mind. Sorry, I think I missed of the, uh, the frequencies <laughs> up there but like uh, bro that was joked they yeah, lost yeah, their mind yeah. man and then obviously I've seen her again like when I'll probably be like in Starbucks in Warsaw and she'll just pop up with yeah. like a short hair when she cut her hair off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, what are you doing here? And I'm just like, yo, I'm still trying to make it work. Like, yeah. you know, you've blown up yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. good to see man. It's beautiful, bro. This is it. It's no, beautiful, man. man. See, so th- it's, it's not going to be difficult for you to to break this. Like I I can't see it. I just think yeah. you just gotta connect a few more dots and yeah, you're gone, you, bro. Because you have got something special. No, you thank you, bro. Appreciate special. it. So I've seen too many go up, man. Yeah, too many exactly. days around here. Yeah. Nah, that, that chocolate reflect, man. That, that's where some big guys are coming out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that yo, too. You so. got the affiliation now. <laughs> All right, then we, mm. we we going way over time. So yeah, man. Thank, thank you very you, much bro. for coming down. I'm gonna play your thank track you. right now. This one is Farzy, oh, and yeah, man, it. go get it. Go get it. Stream that. No! <laughs>